to our channel. I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Anna. And today we are going to be doing our review on parasailing in Grand Cayman. So we are on our honeymoon cruise on the Carnival Magic and we went to Grand Cayman, Cozumel, Belize, and Mahogany Bay. Yes, so we went to those four places and we had two excursions to do so we decided to do a review on both of those excursions. The first one we did was on our day are on our first port, which was Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman. And we went? Parasailing. Yes, so I am terrified of heights, so I was a little scared for um, that excursion, but honestly, we had so much fun. It was great. Yes, so we paid for our excursion through Carnival's website before our cruise. Before we left, yeah. Yes, that's apparently the most efficient and smartest way to do it because in, in our experience it was yes it worked out for us i thought it was really self-explanatory yes super easy i mean they have different options of and they kind of explain the different excursions they have oh, and yeah. you just kind of go and choose where you want to go what kind of things you want to do and then once ever you pick it once you get on the ship and in your stateroom uh that first sea day i think that's when they gave us ours or maybe they were already waiting on us one or two they'll put there's a little mailbox outside your door I'll put your shore excursion tickets in there for whatever shore excursions you bought online. Yes, so I don't have a picture of our parasailing excursion tickets, but I'll insert the picture of the dolphin ones just so you can see what they look like and know what to expect. But um, but Carnival was super helpful getting all the information to us, reminding of us of our excursions. Where to meet for it, yes. freehand, it tells you all that on your tickets. Yes, and again, super self-explanatory and easy to use like Jeremiah said. So the way our excursion started off was um, we went to Grand Cayman and Grand Cayman wasn't one where they uh, dock right at the port. You have to take a little boat. Tender. It's called a tender. Thank you. To the island. So it was like, it wasn't very far. It was How far do you think it was? Probably like five minutes. Yeah. If that. If that. Like a little five minute boat ride and you know. To the island. Yes. So then once we got there, you find the guy holding the sign with your excursion. And our um, our ticket had the number on it and all that. So yeah, it we, tells you where to meet them. Yeah, so we knew exactly what to expect. And, and you see everyone meeting for the same excursions, and they have little signs telling you what it is anyway. So. Yes, and uh, and like we chose the earlier times, so it wasn't as busy. We we're the first ones to like get off of the little tender. 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 Man, not tender. Not <laughs> tender. Um, the little tender. So um, and it was nice because again it was early, so it wasn't too hot. We met in one of the cafeterias on the ship around, what time was it? We left from like what? 7.45. Oh yeah, one of the dining rooms, not the dining cafeterias. Room, sorry. <laughs> not sorry. cafeterias on the ship. No, okay, so we met in the dining room at 7.45 and we let, we were out of there before 8. Yeah. And then our excursion was supposed to start at like 9.45? No, no, it should start at like 9 o'clock, 8.30, okay. 9 o'clock. Oh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyways, sea brain. <laughs> so anyways, we found the guy and he was super helpful. He was kind of like, we're going to wait for a few more people and then um, then we'll be good to go. So luckily again, since we got there early, we found a good place to sit and we were out of the heat. So we just waited for um, the rest of the people. And in our group, I think there were... All together, there were 10 people. Yeah, 10 people. So after all 10 of those people came, um there was there was like a big family in another group and they were scheduled for a later time they tried to like get into our group but our no, 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 our no. guy was good he was like no i'm not yeah. gonna put them here so he helped us that way just because well, we'll explain okay so we our group got together and we went to um we followed the tour guide of course and we went to a little boat and we all 10 of us got on it and then there was a guy driving the little boat and then our tour guide who was explaining everything to us and um so the boat started going they started driving us out further into the ocean because obviously you can't do any of this right on the i mean right on the beach you know yeah so um there was there were two groups of two including us and then two groups of three um and everyone was super nice again the guy was super su or super helpful and explaining everything oh, because yeah. most of us had never done it 
The couple went before us. They had done it before. Uh, I think they said one time there was this older couple, super nice, and um, they volunteered to go first, which is good because I'm kind of like, I'd rather see it first than <laughs> be the guinea pigs, you know? So I took a little clip of them and I'll insert that here. So, um, so they went and I mean, they were up there for a good amount of time. And once they came down, they're like, oh yeah, this was awesome. So, um, once it was our turn, we are, once they were getting ready to come down, we put our life jackets on and our harnesses on. Is that what they're called? They help you put all those things on too. Everybody knows how to put on a life jacket, but the harnesses and whatnot, they help you put on and tell you what to do to then get ready to get hooked up. Yes, so again, very helpful there too. It's not like anyone's just leaving you out there in the open. And, and we heard other people later complain about um, uh, a rocky boat ride or things like that. It wasn't like rocky it at all. It wasn't like that, no. It was, the boat ride all day was smooth and you yeah, had a good view. Yeah, and Even was, when you're just sitting on the boat. Exactly, even the bo boat ride itself was great because you could yeah. just see everything. So anyways, once it was our turn to go, again, they explained what we needed to do. Um, I really wasn't nervous once it was our time to go just because the people before us were like, oh, that was awesome. And then, I mean, it seemed to go smoothly. So there was nothing to really be worried about. Um, so we got in there and then we started to take off and I mean, it was great. Yeah, they hooked us up and then we, they, we took off. I mean, they don't do too much explaining about it because it's pretty self-explanatory and it's easy. And they took us up in the air, and once you're in the air, it's pretty relaxing. It's not jerky or nothing at all. It's just you're up there watching the ocean. It's nice. Yeah, we, we both kind of thought it'd be jerky or... I mean, we really didn't know what to expect, but we we really went up high, and um, and it, it, was wasn't, good. it wasn't scary at all. It was super pretty. We could see over the whole island. Yeah. It was... I mean, it was amazing. The view was great. It, like you said, it was super quiet, super peaceful. Um, we just really got to relax. We could hear each other, so uh, we did talk. Yeah, you when we talk were up, up there, yeah. Yeah, so it was really nice, yeah, and we. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, it was definitely something to try. I then know, afterwards, because yeah. she's just rambling. Yeah. Because <laughs> afterwards, then afterwards, once all your group gets done, they take you to the beach. Yeah. And it's a nice beach, but now here, this is where we made the mistake. They take you can do. They'll either take you to the beach. And then after they drop you off at the beach, you ought to pay for a taxi to get back to the boat, which is only like four bucks a person. It's not that much. Or they'll just take you back to the boat, basically, and you ain't gonna pay no money. Well, we got off at the beach to hang out at the beach, and me, I wanted to walk back to the ship because it didn't look that far, which in reality was like four or five miles away. But to me, I mean, it, <laughs> this big old ship looked like a oh, five minute walk. But it wasn't, and so I highly suggest you go to the beach, but then just bring four dollars with you for how many people, four dollars per person for how many people in your party to get a bus back so you'd be there real quick. We ended up walking around four or five miles back to the ship. We had exercise. I liked it, but yeah, we definitely had. Good I wouldn't exercise. do it again. <laughs> I, I'd pay for it if I knew we could have got lost or something like that. Luckily, we found our way back. It was good. Yes, it was um, good. So. Again, overall the experience is great. Another thing I wanted to mention, and I thought this was kind of crazy, is how um, when we said we wanted to go to the beach, how the boat literally brought you on yeah. the beach. Like people had to move out of the way so the boat. They could get just, you to the beach. Yeah, they yeah. bring you right on the beach. So yeah. um, but it was overall it was a great experience. Um, everyone there enjoyed their time. <coughs> Bless you. There was a group of three girls and or women. They were just small women, but um, they all went together, the three of them. And then there were parents with their young child. So it's really for anyone of any age. Yeah, and, it's relaxing. And it's pretty cool that they can do two or three people. They can do up to four. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, that's pretty cool. So lots of options there. You know, you don't have to be separated from your group or anything like that. So overall. Parasailing in Grand Cayman was amazing. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. I'm good with that. Yep. So if this is something you are thinking about, definitely go for it.